And then this distance here to AA is 14 minus 5 is 9 inches. And they gave us a sign convention that was X, Y, and Z. And this is pipe, right? Goes up to over here in a pipe wrench and you got a 50 pounds on it. And they're just asking, well, what in the world are the reactions here? There are always six possibilities. There is V sub Z. There is V of X. There is V sub Y. And then there's three moments, right? And it's getting messy. So let me come down here and make it bigger. Uh, no, it's not to AA. Oh, yeah, that's all they want. They, we don't have to go to the wall. We could, but then that would be an extra step. Okay. So what are, whatever this ends up being, you can do it anywhere along there. It's the Plus, if you will, you've got this axis, this axis, and that axis. You've got a, a moment, and this is where I'm going to use some double-headed arrows which is the right hand rule, which means it's rotating around like that. And that would be our M sub Z. The double headed arrow here, which I think you learned in statics, probably haven't used since. And it might have been last year. Or, as John is behind here running the show, three years or two years or something. <laughs> So that would be a moment that goes around like that, because this is the x-axis. So that would be the moment about the x-axis. Now, the one that's along the long axis here, uh, I'll put it like this, which means it's a torque that goes around in that direction. Okay? So you got all six of those things. And what I'm going to tell you is, is in the book, they put all these things in the answer manual. They put all those things on there and then they go to work on doing it. That's not how I do it. I look at three views. And this is going to be very important as we go along. We'll have those situations where it's complicated, more complicated than this. And it's just easier to break it into three 2D views. So what we're going to do first is for instance, I'll just do it right on this one here, is we're going to look at down the x-axis. So when we do that, I can see this 9 inches here, and I can see this 10, and I can see this 9, and that 50. And what do I see over here? Well, this is, here's what's really important. Put on your coordinate system. People don't like coordinate systems, I have come to realize. They are your friend. <laughs> if you ignore them, they will bite you. It will not be your best friend. So, this is the Z direction. This will help keep directions on what, which way the forces go and all that type of thing. So what do I see here? Well, I've got a V sub Z. And I can't see V sub X, but I can see V sub Y, which I put on originally like that. And um, I can see this moment, M sub X. Three unknowns, and, and you can find them. Just some forces in the uh, Z direction, the Y direction, and some moments right around that point right there, and you got M sub X. Okay? Easy. And then you don't have all the other dimensions floating around that'll get you all confused. Uh, so, we'll do another one. So now I look from the top. And when I look from the top, I can see this coming over here like that. You know, let me make it into a pipe. And then it's round here, and, you know, I'm looking up from the top. I can't see that. 10 inches, so, but it comes back in this direction, and then I got my uh, 
thing like that, and guess what? What do I see? Well, actually, that's not quite right. Uh, mm, 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 mm. A little bit more. What do I see when I look from the top? I see the tail of that vector. So, again, I have y here, and now this is x. So I'm going to have a v sub x. I'm going to have, notice that again I get v sub y, and I think I had it going that way. And now I'm going to have a moment here. Now that's going to be a moment around what axis? Z axis. To tell you the truth, it doesn't matter what I put on here, because tell me what v sub x is going to be. What's v sub y going to be? And what's this moment going to be? Zero. Wacko. Bam. Done. Okay? Just makes it easy. Quick. You know? Get, how do I start? Draw. And here, now, we have probably the one that's a little bit more unusual. We're going to look at it from the end, and we're going to look down the uh, y-axis. So when I look down the y-axis, I see this pipe. And this is my x, and if you will, this is my z-axis, my directions. So when I look down at that end, I can see this part of it, which is 10 inches. Then I can see this that comes over. Then in the background here, I got 50 pounds. And you put on your links here, this is 7 inches. And what do I have? Well, I've got another uh, V sub X. And notice that I had it going in the X direction. So I would put that again on in the X direction. Uh, what else do I have? Well, I've got a V sub Z, which I think I put on originally in that direction. But you want to be consistent, otherwise you'll be really messed up. Did I have it going in that direction? Did I have it going in the plus Z direction? All right, and then I've got a torque. Now, I can see which way the torque goes, but I put a certain direction for that torque, didn't I? And I had it being a positive with my thumb going in the minus Y direction. So I had it going like that. Well, that's not the right direction when we get done, but we're consistent. So, I can sum moments right around there. I got the torque. It's uh, minus 7 times 50. Sum ver forces vertically, V sub Z is 50. Sum forces horizontally, V sub X is 0, which we had before. Now look, in these two diagrams, you'll see that something is repeated. This one is repeated and this one's repeated. Okay? And then uh, if, but you don't see a moment being repeated. And if I go back one here, what I have here repeated is V sub C and V sub Y with the previous ones. So, the forces show up twice. And one view may not be as helpful as the other, but or be as clear as the other, but you've got two of them to go by. And the moments only show up once. And you need the Y and the Z directions just to keep the forces going in the right directions and all that. It's easier on paper because you can actually see them than me here. You can see what, what you've done. So, on the problem that you uh, need to do or have done that has the pulley system, uh, that goes off here like this, and you got some. You got this here. You got a force here. You got a force here. You got another one here like that. Force here, force there. You got bearings. They're flexible, which means there's no bending moments. It's free to rotate at the end, so there's no bending moments. And I did something wrong because those don't go in that direction, right? <laughs> 